Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 18W. The question says, open the file saved in task 18V, produce a, a new report from all the data that is placed at the bottom of the report, the total profit if all the cars were sold. So I'm going to look at the total profit this time around. I'm going to, I'm going to calculate the total profit in the report. So we're going to create uh, more like a, um, a formula in the report okay so i'll come back to the rest of the question okay so my database is already open here so what i'm going to do is to make a copy of task 18b here so i'm going to right click on it and then copy and then paste right here okay i'm going to save it as task 18 uh, w and then remove this uh copy at the back making sure that there's no space at the back right there otherwise it may be wrong all right so i do that so the next thing i'm going to do is to open the reports go to report um sorry design view go to the design view and then on the report uh footer i'm going to drag down the report footer okay because we want the formula at the last page okay sorry at the last yeah the last page so if there are two pages, the formula will appear on the last page, all right? So whatever data you put in the page footer will appear on every page, but for the report footer is going to appear on the last page, if you understand what I mean. I think I've explained that before. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the text box, click on the text box from the, con the um, control uh, section of design tab. So I'm going to um, drag across and create uh, a a control here okay so I'm gonna have two all right so on this one I'm going to write total profit okay total profit so that's where the text will be all right uh, let me just drag it a little further to the right good so uh, the inbound I'm gonna just select that probably right click and then go to property um, sorry properties okay you can i can go here or i can just close it and, and simply do it like we used to do it select it go to property sheet anyone you want all right and make sure you are on the all tab right here so from the all tab i'm going to go to uh control source i'm going to click on this uh, three dots and then insert my formula right there equal sign i'm going to have some okay open my uh parentheses and then um I'm going to have a square bracket right there and then write profit. Okay, I'm going to write profit and then close my square bracket. Now, it, this will tell access. So the square bracket will tell access that it's from the profit that is going to extract the data and then do the calculation. Okay, all right. So um, I'll close my parenthesis and then okay that. Okay. Um, yeah. And then um, the next thing I want to do is to make the data. Okay, first of all, let me view how the data will look like. Let me see that. Let me look at it from the bottom. Okay, so we have something like this. So I'm going to format. I'm going to format the the data to be in currency in euro. Okay. So we're going to go back to design view again, and then of course um, the the uh, um, let me just extend it a little bit. So we select the control, go back to property uh, sheet, and then the format, then get down to format, and then select euro. And of course, the decimal places, make it to decimal places as a matter of fact. And then, um, and then check our report view and see how it looks like. Now it's looking nice, right? Good stuff. So um, that's for that. So I'm going to go back to design view again. And then look at the question so the next question says uh display at the bottom of the report maximum minimum av and average profit values okay and uh, displays the number of cars in this uh, report okay the number of cars will be the that is the count we're going to use the count function for that okay so i'm just i'm going to just look at them at once so what i'm going to do here is simply to select everything here okay and then simply uh um pull down the control key control c and then control v control v again control v again so this will take care of 
max, minimum and average and then lastly control V again I'm going to have for I'm going to have control for the what's it called again the, the um the number of cars okay all right so what I'm gonna have here I'm gonna have uh, maximum profits here so let me just extend the control a little further a little further and I'm gonna have um, maximum profit Okay, and then the next one is going to be uh, minimum profits, minimum profits, and then of course average profit, the next one, average profit, average profit, and then lastly, I'm going to call it number of cars, okay? number of cars i'm gonna call this number of cars good okay so i think we are good here so what i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh, let me just uh, push this to the right a little further and then do the same thing with this just to look nice okay so just leave it like this and see how it goes when we do that okay so what i'm gonna do is simply to change the formula here okay let me just see but I can even write it, I can just adjust it right here by myself. Okay, so I can just do it right here. So max, I'm gonna use the max function here. The mean as I'll simply write mean, remove the sum, write mean, and then the average this time around is AVG, not up the total the average like we have in Excel. So I'm gonna use AVG this time around here. So here it counts still so the, to count the number of cars. So I'm going to have the count uh, text right here and then um, check on my on my report view and I think everything is perfect okay so this is how you are going to have it okay I think here is not showing pretty well around the average profit not showing pretty well so I'm going to go back right there uh, design view probably adjust it a little bit I'll just the control a little bit and then see how it looks. Uh, let me see. That. Okay, so I'll adjust that and see what I issue. So it's showing perfectly as I think everything is cool. So as you can see now, the number of cars now is in uh, what's it called? Is in euro okay, and two decimal places. We don't really need it to be in currency. So I'm going to go back to my design view select the control and then go to property sheet making sure that the format will be in general something like that okay either uh, should i put it in general yeah general number i'll have it in general number and then re and then reduce the decimal places to zero okay and then view that again in the, in the uh, report view and i think the number of cars will be 19 here okay so uh, i think that's that's it for the question so um that's it for the video so if you have any question please leave a comment down below all right thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in next video please don't forget to like my video and also share the video okay also subscribe to my channel for more videos all right so you can get notification for next for more videos all right thank you so much i will see you in the next video bye